Coach, a win, a loss against Cal Baptist last week. You mixed up the lineup a little bit, got a freshman, Woody Cook. I got a good look at him. How much is that going to continue going forward the next few weeks, mixing up the lineup? Well, the benefit of uh, where we are right now and uh, you know where we are in the season in particular is that somebody shows me that they're sustainable and having an uptick up in the gym and putting it together and competing at a high level, um, they deserve a shot. So we hadn't had the success we were looking for or the consistency we were looking for and decided to make a change. And it's not something that just came out of nowhere. We put him in against Hawaii and he wasn't just a, a, a body filling a spot. He actually came out and competed at a high level, held his, held his position, passed well, gave us some pretty good kills when we needed it, blocked well, kept his serve in, did a lot of good things in the backcourt. So we paid attention and up in the practice court he was continually doing the same thing and then working with him with hey we need to make sure we're focused on this and getting this he was starting to do these things and implementing it taking ownership of it and it was paying off for him so we were seeing the improvement from him in particular the accountability of these things that was necessary and the improvement and by virtue of that, it was, all right, well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. And he's been doing great. Um, yeah, it's one of those situations where as a freshman who didn't really work much in the summer, but you know, now that whole cycle has come through where his body's acclimated to the workload. But the first time out, he got a little bit tired because it was a long, you know, he was out there for an extended period of time. But when you're not used to that load, the emotional demands, the physical demands, spiritual, all those things, it takes its toll. So the first time he was out there, he looked a little bit tired towards the end, which is invaluable experience because then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I, now I know why I need to work harder. So he started to do that and then he played both those matches, which that's, we, it was a five game the last night, three game the first night, and he didn't look tired, which if you can do that, that's, that's extremely promising. So he's starting to do some things at that position that we're really liking. Now you have kind of a week off. You have an alumni game coming up, but what are the benefits of having a chance to kind of get a rest for this team? And then the alumni game, having those guys come back. Well, first and foremost, we get a whole training block now where the things that we really want to hammer home and just say, okay, these are the advances we want to make. We can do a periodization chart and say, okay, this is where we want to start, this is where we want to end by the end of this, these are the things that we want to hit while we're doing it, these are the things that we want to improve at. We get that dedicated time that we know we don't need to compete in the middle of the week, we don't have to travel anywhere, all those other things where it's just, okay, we can focus on us. Um, in terms of the alumni, it's a, it's a great way to stay connected to the volleyball community that came from USC, it's a way to give back to them, it's a way for them to come in and one of the benefits that they bring is that that's an experienced group of guys that come in and can sit around with the guys and help them talk about their experiences and help bridge those gaps and it's also unique that like say we go to the locker room uh, this was I think two years ago it was either an alumni game or it was a uh, maybe it was a UCLA match, I, for, I forget exactly but in our locker room, we have all the past players of the year. We have the Olympians and the all Hall of Famers. All, you know, the names are just in there. And the walls came to life because they were, the humans were there. They all came in. There was about 30 alum in the locker room with our team in there. And here's all the people that they're sitting there, and that's what's written on the wall. That all of a sudden they're alive and they're in there. They're making noise. They're looking around, saying, "This place is amazing. This is great." It gives that perspective, the experience perspective and the connective tissue in a tangible way to the guys on the team that says you know, all the things that we talk about in terms of you know, being a Trojan, what it takes and what it, what it is, who these guys are, what they did, all that stuff comes to life. And you can't bridge that gap better than actually having those people there. So alumni game is a special time. It's a great chance, you know, for me particularly, to be able to talk with the guys that came through because you spend four years with a guy all of a sudden they're off doing their life but whenever you can get them back it's great.